Pro. Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, we're doing tutorials on QBS8 and new features. Um, one of the new features is the card pads. Uh, previous, they had the card track. Uh, now, what we've got is uh, card pads. So, I basically just loaded up a, a piano. Now, ways of accessing this are uh, project, chord pads, and the shortcut there, as you can see, Control, Shift, and C. So if we highlight that, and here we have chord pads. Ideal, not everybody knows music theory or you know chords or progressions or anything like that, myself included. I have a basic understanding, um, you know, so this is really, really handy. Uh, what you need to do is make sure that you have, obviously I've turned it off there, activate record enable or monitor button of the MIDI instrument or MIDI tracks to use chord pads. So if it isn't enabled, it does tell you. So if I just click record enable, what that now means is if I play my MIDI keyboard, So there you go, that, that's the basics of it. Um, I'm presuming, again, not really looked too much into this, you've got voicing. So that to me looks like it's doing inversions. Inversions of the C chord. Nice. And tension. So really, really useful. It allows you to basically manipulate chords in any way that you like. Um, obviously starting off with a basic pattern. Um, then... Different inversions. So really, really useful feature. Uh, again, backed up with Chord Track as well. I'm sure this is going to be a godsend for lots of people, including myself. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. So, that's just a very, very quick overview of Chord Pad, a uh, new feature in Cubase 8. Don't forget, if you like my channel, uh, please subscribe. So, until next time, bye bye.